What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have My Damn Hoss episode number 30. <laughs> So on this episode of My Name Halls, all we have is this one envelope, but it is a great envelope. We have a lot of figures in here. I believe it's five total. Um, my good friend, Teenage Toy Collector, on Instagram. Go give him a follow. His information right here on the screen. Um, he wanted me to make him some Young Bucks. He was screwed over in a uh, custom deal that he did. So I was like, you know what, bro? If you send them over to me, I will take care of it for you. Sorry that you got screwed over. So that is pretty much what is in here. We have the parts for some Young Bucks, and then we have some figures that he sent along with them. Um, you know, to cover the cost because he didn't want me to just do it for free. He wanted to throw in some figures for me. So I am so excited to pop this thing open. So let's go ahead and do it. So before we get into the envelope, guys, we got to have the trusty knife. So getting into the envelope, I don't think that we'll probably need the knife. I'm just going to try to poke a little bitty hole here and maybe not cut anything. I don't think I cut anything. Uh, hopefully the parts or anything doesn't get you know messed up. There it goes. Perfect little cut. Um, he did let me know, so yeah, he was right. Uh, he, he said he did an uh, envelope inside of an envelope, so that's what this is right here. And as you see, um, it's just a little packing envelope, so we're going to have to rip this open. Alright guys, so popping the envelope open, we have some baggies here of some figures. And um, here is the uh, one young buck right here. I believe this is going to be Matt Jackson. It's got the uh, Drew McIntyre head scan on the Tyler Breeze body. I think this is the perfect formula. Maybe I have some arms laying around that I could use for the arms. But there is one young buck. And then here is the second young buck in a little plastic baggie. Ripping him open right here. As you see, it's got the other Drew McIntyre head scan. And it is, uh, this is going to be Nick Jackson. As you see, it's got a headband head scan. And I think these work perfect for bucks. I love this. Uh, this formula works great. It's what I use for my bucks. So I cannot wait to get started on these. I have a few other projects that I'm working on right now, bro. But I will start on these as soon as possible. And then here are the figures that he hooked up for me. Right here we have this Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler. Popping him open out of his little packaging. And he is wearing the WWE Championship, looking like a beast. This is how it should be in real life. But, you know, stuff happens. But this is a beautiful figure. I love the Elite 5. I love the trunks. It's got the uh, cheetah print tape, and it has a cool design on the DZ on his trunks. And the WWE Championship actually came with the other figure, which is this TNF Seth Rollins. And it's kind of funny because I've already made a deal for this uh, TNF Seth Rollins. I've already traded it away. So um, I'm trading this for an Elite 45 Seth Rollins for the uh, white attire because I'm going to make a fantasy custom Kenny Omega. So that's pretty much where this is going to be headed. Um, this makes the third TNF Seth I have now, so I'm excited for this, excited for that other trade. So I have this for you, bro, whoever that is that I traded with. And then here's the gym. Um, I have to do an arm swap because there's tattoos missing and stuff. But um, this Elite 18 Undertaker, I've never had this figure before. I'm very excited. I'm going to have to do some part swaps because it's sort of in bad condition. But I mainly just needed this for that Dead Man ink right there on the pants because uh, I've never had that before. You know, the Elite 55 wasn't even a re-release. It was like a brand new figure of Undertaker. But yes, great package here today. I'm very excited to finally own Elite 18 Undertaker. I'm going to have to touch up some stuff. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it in this video, though, because it'll probably be a process. I'm going to have to go through the fodder box and make sure I have everything. But yeah, guys, that about does it for this short episode of My Damn Halls. I know it was a quick video, but I do have some more exciting stuff coming soon in the next few days. I actually have an epic giveaway that I'm going to be doing very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to get that stuff in. It should be sometime this week, so stay on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of all these figures we picked up here today. Again, Teenage Toy Collector, I will be beginning on your Young Bucks as soon as possible. Just got to knock out a few other things. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.